Happy Monday, everybody. <laughs> um, frustrating week for us, uh, probably to say the least. We came off a great win last Sunday against Texas A&M and kind of riding that high and played Missouri on Wednesday night and, um, in my opinion, played well enough to win, but also just it was a weird vibe. It played a little bit flat um, considering the ramifications for where we're at in the season and what we're trying to do. And uh, let Missouri sneak away uh, with a win on Wednesday night. I thought we came back, had a good practice on Friday. Saturdays are always tough, especially on football. Uh, Saturdays at home to keep focus. Uh, but, I, you know, overall yesterday, from a defensive standpoint, played really well. Um, really proud of, of Kate Gibson. She had a triple-double with kills, um, blocks, and digs. And I think that was the first time since 2012 that that happened. So it doesn't happen very often at all. Uh, and our blocking was the best it's been all year. And just kind of a weird, I was talking up there, that was just kind of a weird match for us in the fact that we've been getting a lot of kills and having a lot of errors uh, to go along with that. And then yesterday we got a lot of blocks and just we were struggling to put the ball away. And Arkansas um, was controlling the match. Uh, they had a ton of errors and that's what allowed us to have a lot of runs. We lost the first set in a close one and then just really blew them away in the second and third set. Lost a really close fourth set that I think at one point we were leading 16 to 12. Uh, controlling, controlling, felt like we were going to win that in four. And, you know, just kind of a, a, another disappointing loss. And I don't know, you know, sometimes what the answer is. That's tough as a head coach to try to put your finger on how to uh, get over that hump. Uh, one thing I will say is there's no, um, since I've been here, I'm, I'm just, I'm really thankful um, for this team and how hard they work and what their mindset is and how they hold together. I'm really thankful with the, for the staff that I have. Um, and we're working hard to, um, to figure it out. And we, we have uh, six matches left, four of these teams that we're playing, we have victories over earlier in the conference season, and two we hadn't even played yet. So, uh, again, there's still a lot to play for. We need to get on a run here, and we basically told the team after the match yesterday, I mean, we're out of time. You know, we, we kind of played well in the SEC schedule, got some wins, gave ourselves maybe a little bit of cushion, if you will, and that cushion's gone. And so we need to figure it out pretty quick and, and get to winning really fast. And we have Mississippi State uh, coming this Sunday. It's a team that hasn't won in the league yet. We don't want to be their first win. Uh, it's a team that in the last couple of years, uh, we, we won, we beat them earlier this season. We played pretty well, but it's a team that's had some success against us in the last couple of years. So I know they're not coming in afraid of us and it's a rivalry game. We all know how that goes in, in every sport. So we need to have a good week of practice and come out um, ready to get after them next Sunday and start winning again. Um, any questions? Uh, what do you see different between the first and fourth sets of the Texas State? Again, I think if you look at the numbers, it was uh, the number of kills that we were getting. I don't know that we hit double-digit kills in the first set or the fourth. So allowing you know, Arkansas to kind of dictate play. And they were helping us out with a lot of errors to make those close. Um, we did have a lot of blocks in those sets, so that kind of makes up for a little bit of the points. But, you know, it's uh, something that, we, you know, we go back and watch film, and uh, one thing we always tell the girls, it's about the details. We had um, multiple times that a player would, didn't go to the right spot on defense, Arkansas didn't do anything different against us this time. We lost to them in five at their place. We went and watched film. They didn't do anything different. They hit the ball to the same spots. They tipped the ball to the same spots. 
they were very reliant on their All-American outside hitter. We knew that that was going to happen, and we really shut her down for most of the match. I mean, um, Pilar Victoria is averaging six kills a set, leads the nation, and I think um, uh, through three sets we had her either hitting zero or negative. She had more errors than she did kills. So um, as far as a day to win against them, we had it yesterday, and we didn't take advantage.